Aries, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It is for Aries Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. We're going to go over Aries Astrology for this week. We're going to tell you about the vibes. We're going to go over the current situation, figure out what that is. And then whatever comes out from the past, we'll review because it's got something to do with this current situation if it falls out. And then we'll go into predictive and see what's going to come from all this energy. There's always an extended reading that I hope you guys will join me for. That link is in the description box right at the top below. And I'll also pin it to the top of the comment section. Um, yeah, thank you so much for, for push, uh, choosing this video. If, you, if you're just finding the channel, welcome to Born Without Boundaries Tarot. This is my, my premier channel. I have a second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation where I do general live general tarot card reading live chats every single day. So if you want to participate in that, it's also where I upload my weekly astrology forecast. Lots of good content there too. So please do find that. Um, the astrology this week is, I honest to God, <laughs> Aries, emotional is an understatement not because something bad is going to happen not not because there's like oh something traumatic that's going to happen in making things emotional no 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 just you being emotional um mars is in retrograde so things are more frustrating for you because you're used to charging and it's not if you could learn to just sit back and relax and be cool with that things would be fine but it you know it's not your nature number 1 and number 2 it's hard to change gears now, what makes it easier <laughs> is that there is the holiday season coming up. Whatever holiday you celebrate, that's what's coming up. Lots of people are taking vacation around this time. Whatever hemisphere you're in, this is vacation time. So that works in your favor. And whatever family events, friend events, or travel events, or travel opportunities, anywhere where you can help yourself change gears from being so forward, direct, and just get things done, to let things happen and just let them come to me and just enjoy the moment. Anything you can do to encourage that, that will make that easy for you. Being involved in things that you don't, you don't want to rush by. You don't want them to move quickly. It's like, why does time fly so fast on vacation? It won't. It will kind of go slower too. So this is really time for you to engage in what you enjoy. And that's gonna help you a lot this week to be able to be more comfortable with all this vulnerability and all these emotions that are gonna be coming up because Mars in retrograde in Gemini is still, is still a square to Neptune, but the moon is coming through Gemini and exacerbating that kind of emotional, like emotional everything that's going on inside of you it's really going to kind of bring it out draw it out make things much more much more ooey gooey and emotional and vulnerable um when was that especially thursday friday while the moon is in gemini it will conjunct mars unavoidable mars and the moon aren't necessarily compatible <laughs> they they really work from two totally different places. So what it's gonna do is exacerbate the frustration that you already feel as you try to switch gears to the slower season in your life. I think the secret to your success is to slow the fuck down. And I've been telling that to everybody this week, um, but especially for you. And it, but it's harder for you to, to, to switch gears. So be around people, especially family, friends. This could be a great time to see your mother when Mars is conjunct the moon because mama don't judge. She just loves, you know, hopefully if you have a great mother. Um, you know, there's a sense of being around people that you, that you feel more comfortable being emotional around so that it doesn't seem like so much of a burden because you are going to be emotional. If, if only because there's so much frustration, because maybe you're taking things wrong or you're being too sensitive and, hey, dude, that's okay, man. We all go through that shit. This is just one of those weeks, man. It's like being on the rag. I said it. Yes, I did. But that's how this week is going to feel. Maybe some of you actually are. But even if you are not a person, a human that's ever been through that experience, this is what it feels like. Like this is... This week is what PMS feels like, <laughs> like irrational emotional outbursts. 
Now, this could actually, for you lucky Aries, be happening to you too. So you could be dealing with somebody who is for real going to drive you nuts because you don't have the same energy levels that you used to. Um, and you're dealing with somebody who's very over and emotional. This could be your mama figure. It could be your wife, some female or feminine that you're dealing with in your life. You could feel more, and I hate using this expression, quote unquote, like a girl, which means more emotional, more feminine, more receptive. Give into it, dude. Honor and respect those aspects of yourself, but being around people that you really care about is just going to help the melancholy, nostalgic, emotional wave that you will have to ride this week. It's not going to be forever. And honestly, things really resolve themselves toward the end of the week. It's, it's, it's not going to be something life-changing or destructive. Um, but expect it. Expect it and don't try to control it, which is also very complicated, I know. See the big picture. Ah, no, the, number one, this is saying, you know what? Don't freak out. Because overall, in the long run, if you look at the big picture, this isn't really that big of a deal. And I, so it's saying that an objective perspective, stepping back and looking at things from a distance and seeing where it's leading. It, this is not about fortune telling or seeing in the future. This is Taurus energy. So it's really got to do with what's going on in the 3D, what is tangible, but casting out a little bit and seeing, okay, what's my schedule like? Where is this trajectory? Like, where is it headed? Who else is involved? Looking at a bigger picture of everything that's going on instead of just what's happening to you. These are all helpful tips that will help you get outside of yourself this week so that you, you don't completely implode or melt all over the place being very practical, being very optimistic as well. This is an optimistic outlook if you really look at it. See the big uh, picture is big money picture, Taurus. So in the long run, even if you feel depleted or that you can't make enough money, like for example, a lot of Aries do physical work. And a lot of times physical work at this time of the year, especially in the Northern Hemisphere where it starts to get cold in a lot of places, the weather starts to get really grumpy and crappy and sometimes it just gets impermeable. Dude, it's, it's almost like this is always the slow season. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of what it is. So it may strike you all of a sudden, oh my God, I just took a huge financial hit. You really didn't. You really, this is just a season. It's a seasonal thing. And if you look at the big picture and the big scheme of things, do a year upon year. Like do a year end. See where you were last time this year. You'll actually see, Aries, that it's actually not that bad. <laughs> it's, it's not as bad as it feels like it is because last year Mars wasn't in retrograde and you didn't feel so depleted. It's really just very emotional right now and you feel more vulnerable but if you take that wider perspective and yeah for those of you who have access to think tools like analytics and stuff do the year over year like see it's not it's actually not that bad a wider perspective will help you and honestly this has to do with personal situations too last year at this time things were probably much more fucked up <laughs> isn't that great but I think the, the, the goal in this exercise for you guys is, is, is God is saying, you don't want to hear the word God, the universe is saying, the cards are saying, I am saying that zooming out and looking at the overall picture is a, is a, is a useful tool for you this week. It's going to help quell or calm down all of those really reactionary tendencies that are that are going to be inevitable this week um you see clearly now oh, and i think what this is implying <laughs> is that there is hidden blessings this week that you couldn't see because of all this crazy you know cr just oh my god too much emotion emotion easily clouds the the vision but if you slow down and zoom out you'll get a clear perspective of what's really going on. And I got this huge relief in me as I saw this card, which means there's good news to be found if you zoom out. 
there's there's actually information that will alleviate your stress if you just do a zoom out right even if you see oh my god i just spent all this freaking money how am i gonna do with the holidays and it's like yeah but next year at this time think about hap how happy it's gonna make you because it was a good investment and i think doing that zoom out is gonna make you see it's like you've really come so far there's a lot to be proud of there's a lot to be happy for let yourself melt and be emotional there's a lot of changes going on and i think right now since this is aquarius energy as you see there's so many changes in fact suddenly you're starting to see a change in your banking account and since both cards are upright this is actually good maybe at a different part in your life you couldn't have even afforded or didn't even have the credit line to spend this much money but now you do and if you look at where you were last year remember last year was 2021 the year before that was 2020 bitch think about that shit you know it's like do the zoom out so that you can see so that just so you can help yourself and i think you're going to see some really happy information trust the magic so this is a new beginning and a new start i don't know what this is but we're going to figure it out oh i just got 11 11. shut up have you guys been wishing for things what have you been wishing for leave the comments below let me know tell me what have you been wishing for it doesn't necessarily mean that your wishes have come true it's almost like you've awakened to something new to wish for something new to want or starting to see that something new has already begun that you might have missed if you didn't zoom out and spirit has a plan it was always destined to go this way this is divine timing and it, it tells you that even though you feel out of sync you're actually you're actually moving just at the right time this is also a higher perspective energy it's also suggesting aries you're going to go really far this week if you trust koala this is is spirit has a plan is trusting in god's divine timing that's sort of what the energy is saying to you okay trust in it because this is a beautiful new start okay let me let me pick the moon card and then we're gonna ask the question them direct questions that we all want to ask i can already hear them Ooh, what popped out in the moon show the world the real you full moon in aquarius now this got something to do with your friend group maybe something coming out or or if you've hidden a secret or kept it secret it's like fuck it i can't hide it anymore i'm just going to be who i am and i'm going to be who i am out loud and you will be accepted it's also saying tell the truth being brave enough to be honest being brave enough to be sort of public about something maybe realizing that you have to announce something turning over a new leaf that you have to start talking more or speaking more not necessarily public like uh is this thing on like up at a pulpit no but just not hiding so much or trying to do so much on your own which you always do um the answers you need are coming full moon in gemini so you have to have a conversation with somebody uh-huh about feelings mm -hmm. about I mean this is a friend this could be friends or a talk to friends about something or a conversation between friends maybe even a larger group of friends but a conversation is going to help to alleviate some stress that, it, that you've been feeling and that's been making you so emotional a personal issue reaches resolution boom a personal issue reaches resolution now this is some good news or finally somebody being able to talk about uh their worry and and that or their concern and that in and of itself is some good news this personal issue now because the moon is conjuncting mars as it goes through gemini i'm gonna tell you right now it's got to do with your mama i don't care if your mama's been dead i'm not that i don't care god bless her may she rest in peace but if she's been dead for 30 years it's still got to do with your mama it got to do with feelings with regards to that sensitivity maybe having to talk to her or be able to say something to her or communicate with her um now it says the answers you need are coming which means that there is a resolution 
which is good news. Like you're finally getting the information that you need to resolve this personal issue. Now, it may not be about your mom. In, if it's about being a mother or motherhood or something close and sensitive to, like, let's put it this way. In the most general sense, it's something that hits home. In the most specific sense, it's your mama or you as a parent. So the most general sense is, is something that hits home. It's close to home. It could be about a friend group or a friend situation. Ooh, the details come out in the moon. That tells me Friday, you better watch it because that's when the moon is conjunct Mars and retrograde. This has had to come out for a while. You've had to talk about this and communication is going to provide you the answers that you need being able to communicate about a very emotional situation. It's done. You're, you're done holding it in. And to be honest with you this week, I don't think you have the ability to hold it in. But it's not coming out angry. It's not coming out as an attack. It's coming out as a resolution. It's coming out as a really mature one-on-one -on -one conversation to help heal a circumstance and just be kind and giving. I think, Aries, somebody got you all wrong. And something's doing a something, something. Somebody's been talking behind your back. You've been talking behind theirs. It's like the resolution finally comes. Like, can we just cut the shit and just... Like it's just it's just built up so much and it's good that you're more vulnerable than you usually are because if not you might have punched the motherfucker right but you don't because it's not about that it's about truth and resolution and showing somebody your your true value and i feel like at the end of this conversation it's that motherfucker that's actually going to see oh i did have them wrong oh i should have I, I I got them wrong and I didn't I, I judge them incorrectly but you know you got to go through it watch for that Friday mark watch for this weekend it's an emotional weekend it, but it's necessary and when that moon slips into cancer there's still things that are popping off so I think it could happen over the weekend too what is this new beginning about Ah, see, I didn't. I don't forget the questions, dude. Come on, man. I'm nosy as fuck. I mean, it's part of why I'm a tarot card reader. I want to know, right? <laughs> so let's find out. Um, the card that let me let me share the cards with you a little bit. Hello, I'm still here. Um, Eight of Pentacles. What the hell is this? Now this is beautiful energy. To be honest with you, Eight of Pentacles is rewarding work. So what this is telling me is something that you have been working on, something that matters to you, especially if it's surrounding this situation, it's worked. So something that, yeah, it's worked. Rewarding work. Your hard work has paid off because of your diligence, because of your tenacity, or because of somebody else's, especially regarding um, those, mama, those mama issues, those mama figures. Something has worked. I don't know what that is. Let's turn this over. Queen of Wands, that's you, bitch, and Page of Cups. Hello. So, this is this is definitely you, Queen of Wands. Of course, Aries, you a queen, and it doesn't matter, male or female. I don't give a fuck. You a queen. This is about really owning your independence. It's about being confident in yourself, confident enough to admit, hey, I love somebody. Hey, I love you. <laughs> confident enough to love. Instead of trying to hold back on that love because you thought it was dangerous or you thought it was wrong or you thought there was shame involved, you're going to get rid of and shed all that guilt and all that shame um, by just talking about it, by just sort of admitting it or saying it out loud. Bitch, what the fuck? So look at this. I told you. I don't ask for the past to come out. The cards will reveal it if it has something to do with the situation that's going to be talked about and finally resolved. Got to do with some sort of marriage, love offer, an offer of love, a marriage, a commitment, something that happened in the past. I mean, I would think up to a couple years ago even, but something that happened in the past, but it's the something is marriage. The something is getting together with somebody an offer of love like listen motherfucker i offered you this love right this was an offer of love in the past that is finally made public revealed and 
reconciled. Y'all really know how to build that drama, don't you? Oh, God. Mm. Let's get a little bit into the future. Oh, come on. Don't be sloppy, dude. I need, I need a professional setup. I really do. I really do. This is, this is so unprofessional. I got 100,000 subscribers now, and I still got this unprofessional. God bless iPhone. I'm not complaining, but... Oh, we got some future, baby. Oh, bit. Oh, this is good. Yeah. While I'm shuffling, I wanted you guys to know that I'm going to make a special announcement um, for to celebrate all of you and how far Born Without Boundaries has come to celebrate all of our achievements and even astrology motivation is doing so well. I am going to have my first meet and greet. It's going to be on, in March or early April of 2023, sometimes around, sometime around the spring equinox. It's going to be held in Austin, Texas, USA. And there's going to be one of two ways to participate. One, be there live for however you can get there. Plane, train, automobile, walk, whatever. Be there live. Or two, live stream, which is global. Now, it's your choice. This poll that I'm going to put out toward the end of the week is going to ask you, what do you think you'd be interested in? If you're not interested, there's not a fucking not interested uh, selection. I don't care if you're not interested, right? Just, you're not gonna fill it out. But if you are interested, think of, like, I wanna start taking it, get a general head count of what, how many people would be interested in each of those options. So, let me know and please look for that poll. I'll be releasing it toward the end of this week. Now, back to your cards, baby. Um, the emperor is here that's you okay and then six of pentacles that's opportunity yeah and then the card that i was super duper freaking psyched about the devil in reverse which means something that was burdening you something that was um uh chaining you making you feel guilty um maybe even addictions or making you act out in bad ways Finally being able to get that devil and exercise it. Finally being able to work that devil out. Work out the fear, get rid of it, uh, harness it. You know, like this is, this is almost like getting sober. Um, but it's really about facing fear. Facing fear and, and not letting it control you anymore. You've been able to not let it control you anymore. And that in and of itself will make you feel so much more like yourself and the amazing opportunities that you make room for when you do. Let's go to the extended. I cannot wait. I'll see you guys there.